Alright guys, can I get you for here again pretty much? We're gonna do actually look something different. This is actually a tutorial um, to a little netbook, Aspire, Acer actually Acer Expire 1 and the model number is actually uh, D2552331. We're gonna actually um, how to install Windows 7 and take out the keyboard, kind of check out the layout of this. This is a little bit different type of keyboard. Uh, keyboard layout actually, there's no, it's actually blocked up from inside. It's kind of a honeycomb. It's not that bad. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need these type of screwdrivers. Ones with that, they're not broken. Let's do that one. So, pretty much, I got a baby, got a big one. These are like for glasses. You're gonna need small little screwdrivers, Phillips, uh, doesn't matter. You got the little tiny ones you guys have. That's good enough. What I use is the tiny one, it's not bad. So, let's go get this going. Very simple. You got a little tabs right here, the keyboard is actually built in. So what you gotta do is you gotta hit the tab. There's little tabs on F12, F8, and F4. See that? You can put the keyboard layout all the way down. So you get out of your way. Okay. You notice that how it syncs goes up? Right here are the three of them. You could use a credit card. This is stuff I use for my thermal compound. What I do is I get the metal one, and I put it right in the middle. There's no wire, nothing sticking here. What you gotta do is set it all the way up until you hear it. Until, until you hear it pop. You gotta do a little bit of force. Don't worry about it. It's not gonna happen to it or anything. Same thing. Same thing. And it slides off and just pops out. See the keyboard right here? I would recommend to be very, very careful with this. Do not unplug it or anything. Now, now get your Phillips screwdriver, the big one. And you're going to have three screws right here. One, two, Three, four. Does it say door? Remove them. Very simple. They're very long screws and very tiny, so be very careful losing these guys. Just the keyboard is to the side a little bit. There you go. And if you notice right here, there's a actually under the expire under two to remove the bottom cap. Get the your screwdriver you have, the Phillips, and just pop it. And it comes out. What I would do, go back to the keyboard layout and just close it. Now you have this open and just set it out. And it was two sides and that's it. Your four screws are there, put that there, and just get your screwdriver. Um, you see right here, there's one screw to remove the hard drive. That'll be it. And keep that to the side. Yank it out a little bit, and just keep pulling it, and that's it. Your hard drive has been removed, and now we'll be using actually let's see and this is D this is from Seagate out of all the technology I like uh, this is a USB USB 3.0 see right here so let's just take it out and I have a USB 3.0 my 
he started slapping. Uh, just uh, pretty much just put this in here. The reason why you have to take out the screws and the four screws are here. Just remove them real quick. Really basic stuff doing it. Just take your time with it. Make sure you fill what you guys are removing. Screws. Just don't lose these screws because it'll, it'll suck. And then slide off. Ready to go. You just put the hard drive in here. This thing is like $30. I don't think it might be cheaper. I'm not too sure. But this only works on a two and a half uh, hard drive. A two and a half uh, hard drive. SSD work and regular HDD hard drives. Uh, three and a halfs do not work. They must have their internal power to power them up. But two and a half don't really need too much juice to power them up. This is 160 gig. So yeah. Are right, you guys just coming back at you for? Please subscribe to my channel. I'm been very tired from my birthday. It was the weekend. I've been just came out of nowhere. This is a bill from my uh, from my sister. What kind of doing? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? I look, I'm very tired. All right, you guys, take care and hit the like button, please, right there at the bottom. If you have any guys questions or anything, let me know. All right, you guys, take care.